Hi everyone, so I'm on with my third instalment of my faux postcards. So these are the ones that I showed you that were printouts of my um, antique postcards that I had um, adhered some sewing pattern to just to vintage them up a bit and I sewed around the edges just so that they don't lift up too much. So they're looking pretty good. So the next thing I want to do is I have cut out some pictures to put on these. So I thought we'd do that first. And then we'll figure out what we're going to do next. So I might just ink around these. So I had a um, flower book. What was it? Like one of your Victorian days. Yeah, calendar books or whatever had these gorgeous pictures in so I thought a few of them would be nice cut down into postcard shapes it's a nice quick easy way of making postcards so I hope you're all doing well getting some crafting in staying warm or cool depending on where you are in the world bit wet here today so another nice day to stay inside and put the heater on and watch YouTube and craft. I'm trying to catch up on all my projects while I've got a day home. So we'll start with these ones. So they are a bit glossy so I'll just use my Helmer's glue to put these on. trying to put away all the bits and pieces that I got in my um, mail today and um, from the secondhand shops yesterday. I was too tired to put them away last night um, because I'd been driving a lot of the day and that tires me out heaps. Now I sort of cut them so hopefully we'll still see most of the stitching. So what I did was picked the cards that had the worst um, crease in them. I don't mind the little creases. I think that looks cool. But these big ones, I thought, cover them over with these bigger bits of paper. Great way of using up the um, bits of your um, pattern, the blanker bits of your pattern paper. And it's been good to get in and use a whole lot of book pictures for this as well. Should be making sure me you were lucky that they're up the right way. <laughs> now this, I don't know if there is a particular right way for this. I could put it up that way. Oops, that needs to be centered a bit more. bad. A bit crooked but at least we managed to drag it up a bit. And rub the excess glue off. And this one, it's a lovely picture.
least you know they're handmade when they're crooked. Now another one that I've got that I want to do is I uh, fussy cut this beautiful rose and there was a little saying in the book next to it. It's from some little rose book. So thinking about putting them on here. And now I'll just have a look and see if there's anything else I want to add. I don't know whether I want a bit of music paper or not, so we'll break some up and have a look. like it with a bit of music paper. Could add some lace too, maybe I'll add a little bit after. Just debating whether to ink or not. Kind of like the white edges on this. I'll definitely ink the... Actually, I might grab my vintage photo for this. to make a journal. I haven't made a journal for a while. So I must get started on one. Should start my purple and green one because that would be fun. Alright, oh, might vintage photo around here a little. delicate bits so I don't want to ruin it. Just going down the stem where it's the most white and giving it a little bit of colour. So, get that up the right way. some stamping might look nice with a bit of a stamp underneath there hey so I do have my text stamp here but I know I also have music somewhere oh look the text stamps here just use it so we'll vintage photo on this a bit this goes on the pattern but it should be all right yeah that's beautiful nice and light love this stamp I think this is one I got from Deborah Ricks actually I think she teased me for trying to read it last time but it does actually say something so I'm gonna sit and read it later <laughs> yeah that backs it off quite nicely now, 
And here's my big glue. It's got some finer details though that needs some sticking down, so. very nice so that's those four I've got one left over here but I'm thinking of doing something different with that on another day just to experiment but I also have printed out some words now these are from Tracy Lee Croft sets as well so these are the handwritten vintage calligraphy words or text and she's got like two pages of each. So you've got your two pages which are in like your tea dyed vintage colours. Um, and as you can see one's upper and lower case and the other one's just uppercase. Lovely sayings and then she's got one that's just in your black and white. Now these are just being printed on my normal um, copy paper. I think that one came out darker because I had it set to print on photo mats so it prints a bit different. So, so I think for these we'll go the vintage colour. Looks like it'll go really nicely with those. So we'll see if we can find some that we like the looks of on these. So I'm thinking probably the we'll see what we've got. I'm appreciating the moment never stop me letting you are just so I'll make it happen this way first. Try something new, nurture your best. Pick flowers. Well, it looks like she's picking flowers, isn't she? So that's perfect. Now, are these the same? So I'll see if I've got to pick flowers here. I don't think I have. So let's rip around that one and see what we think. We want to rip or do we want to cut? I'll cut it first and have a look. Could even like die cut it. Just cut it and see. style would look any good. I think it would look too modern. Here we go. Let's do the rip. Oh no, I will cut. <laughs> Being indecisive as usual. Nice, I'll just get a little bit of colour on there. So that's a perfect saying for that one. Now, do we offset it or do we put it straight? Kind of like that offset a bit like that. And then we'll 
I'll just see how it looks with a bit of ink around the edge. Yeah, that'll look good. Glue strings everywhere as usual. that one now I still might put some lace or fabric on now I want to make a few fabric ruffles afterwards but we'll worry about that after we've done the um, little sayings on these first so beautiful flowers oh, just checking again what we've got here I might wait cure dreams Connect with nature. Maybe we'll do connect with nature on that one. my little corner rounder and we'll do the four millimeter if I can get it in where I need it sort of worked I'll do these two corners and then see what I think that didn't work hard to get it where you want it sometimes hold it upside down and then I can see where it's going might have to add another piece of paper to it. A little bit better, I can cut the rough bit off. I'm preferring it having some softer corners there. Don't want to round both sides, maybe. Oops, not in the 10 millimeter one. I'm gonna chop it off. It. That's all right. It doesn't have to be too neat, so we can finish it off with our scissors. That one's not too bad. Yeah. Ink that up. This one, I'm thinking maybe a bit of a gauze underneath would be nice. So I'll just cut a bit of this off. Lovely, actually. Let's just chop it off about there. And we'll stick this onto the gauze. Just a tad more glue to stick it onto the picture. Bit of a glue, 
lump just there. Get that off. All right, I think I'm liking that one just as is. That's beautiful. Now, I don't think I'm going to bother doing anything with the back because I um, scanned it. It's got the writing, it's got the lines, it's got the stamp even. So that can just stay as it is, really. So that will be that one. That's turned out very nicely. That one we might add something to after. Now we've got this one next. So... Try using one of these. Be yourself. That'll do. That's certainly my motto. I'll just straighten that up a bit. not going to corner around because I don't like it. Tis up the right way. Get some ink on it. little box of lacy scrappy goody bits that almost looks like it might work a little bit of yellow off cut why not I like using scrappy bits something more as well. Um, I have my music paper here. Just add music paper and lace to anything and it looks good, eh? do that and we'll just ink up the music paper a bit. stick the lace to the music paper and the music paper to the card This one made an ink around the edges. All 
All right, so those two I reckon are pretty well done. Don't know if I'll add much more. But this one, I do want to do something with, and I'm thinking I'm not going to grab some sari silk and stain it or something, but I'm thinking just some calico would be the best for this one. And I might mind creating just a little scrappy ruffle this piece would be even better so I might ink this up a bit which I'll do right now and then let it dry and then sew it and then whack it on so let's just think try a vintage photo water bottle I'm just gonna squish this up and rub it in this is gonna be dark enough just soak it all up a few white bits or creamy bits showing through as long as it doesn't look too like new I reckon that'll do so I'm just gonna let that dry and then I'll sew it into some form of scrappy ruffle and then I'll be back to stick it on and then we'll have a look at them all finished So I dried my little mini ruffle um, near the heater for a few minutes. So that's turned out lovely, nice and scrappy and little. So I think we'll stick that down probably up there, I reckon, like that. And that will finish that one off nicely. And then I raided my um, fabric scrap bin for some bits and pieces that might go on the others. I've got my glue, got to have my tea too, just had some um, oven fries and fish fingers, nice and lazy, and some um, frozen veg. It'd be good to open my glue. <laughs> I don't know how many videos I say that in, I think it's my third time, but I'm sure I've done it more than that. <laughs> I'm leaving all the little threads and that hanging out. I quite like it. I did trim them a little bit, so a few of them were quite long. But I like the rough look for this. So that's that one finished. I like it. Keep it simple. But yeah, it looks really nice actually with the um, pattern paper stuck down behind, taking the whiteness away, giving it a bit of texture. So that's that one done. And then I do have this one. Now, I don't want to do much to this one, but I did find just a good way of using up my scraps, you see. Just grab them and stick them to stuff. whether I want to cut it a little shorter doesn't really matter might just cut one of the cut it a bit crooked too yeah just get rid of my scrap bits into the bin now for this one I'll use my fine tip glue figure out what project I'm going to get on with once I've finished these. I do still have to do my mixed media for the month. 
but that takes a bit of mess and space to do, so I don't know if I'm up for that tonight. But I also have um, uh, Donna's frame to do for Auntie Vera that I want to do, and Sylvia's mini album, which I've started on both of those, so I should really get going on them. No shortage of things to be done, that's for sure. So that'll do for that one. Just again adds a bit of texture and interest. And then I've got this one now. <laughs> I have this off cut from some beautiful place that I've got that hasn't really gone on anything. But <laughs> I'm thinking it might actually go on. I don't mind it on there actually. So just gotta figure out placement. Maybe just like that. So that can do with my thick glue. Get to it where I need it. way of using that bit up and then we had this one I do love it the way it is but in my scrap bin was this flower so what's that doing in there and that goes really nicely on there but there was also lots of this pink lace and put a bit of lace on there and the flower why not use up these bits Just a little bit more. I think that'll do. So I'll put some of this down there. Blue ball off. Could leave it unstuck so I can lift it up and read, but we can sort of read through it. I'll shut this one. Just give it a bit of glue down the middle. dries really quickly when it's thin little bits so it's best to just do it bit by bit and then we've got this one big glue ball that we've got forming. So that was pretty quick and easy. So I think we'll call that done. And they're the rest of my postcards. So the back's just my antique postcard printout. They turned out quite nice. So I hope you enjoyed that and that you're all well and having fun. And I will see you soon. Bye.